Greetings, 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 greetings. Welcome one, welcome all. I want to make this short and quick because we'd be a surprise how many, and I know you done seen the title. You like, what in the world is he talking about? Let me tell you what I'm talking about. You'd be surprised how in this day and time that there's a lot of women. There's so many women that believe all men cheat. I know we've been hearing this for years. This ain't, this ain't nothing new. We've been here for years, all men are dogs. And, and, and I wonder, like, if you really believe that, then why are you settling? Why don't you just wait till the Lord come back? All men are dogs. So, so many women out there believe that all men are dogs. And I have this to say about that. Like, not that that affects me. I'm married. I ain't got nothing to do with that. And I feel like all men are dogs, all men cheat. Is the cry of a wounded woman. That's a woman that's been scarred. She's been hurt. Because if you think about it, have you dated all men to know that all men are dogs? Did you take a poll to find out that all men cheat? No. But, but she's basing it off a bad experience with one man. And one man has her looking at all men the same. All men cheat. All men do not cheat. I'm going to tell you the men that do cheat. A man that is full of lust, he cheat because he'll never be satisfied with what he has. I don't care how much his wife or girlfriend has it going on, how beautiful she may be. If he is full of lust, he's going to cheat because, as I said in another video in the past, he has something on the inside of him that he has to keep feeding. And it has nothing at all to do with her looks. She, she could be the most beautiful woman in the world. Holly Berry is a beautiful woman. Eric Benet cheated on her. He said he had a sexual addiction. He, in other words, he's full of lust. He was full of lust. I don't know his situation right now, but he, he was full of lust. And I was with some guys one day, and we saw this woman. This in the past. We saw this woman, and um, they're talking about how her husband cheated, and he left her. It was like, Man, look how pretty she is. I would have never left her. I would have never left her. But let me tell you something. When, you, when you're overcome by lust, it has nothing at all to do. And I know this sounds crazy, but lust has nothing at all to do with looks. That sounds crazy. It has more to do with feeding something that's on the inside of you yelling, I'm hungry. You, you have to feed it. Now, one, I didn't agree with them when they said, I would have never left her up. First of all, you don't know nobody. You don't know what's going on in somebody's house. You don't know what kind of headache she might have been for him to lead. I'm not talking about, I'm not, I'm not condoning him cheating. But I'm just saying, you don't know what kind of headache she might have been for him to leave. It has nothing to do with looks why a man cheat. Because your wife could be beautiful and the other one look all right. Put your feet in a monster on the inside. But, I want to bring this back. All men do not cheat. Some men are, I'm happy with my wife. I'm happy with my wife. That's my best friend. And plus, I'm not wrapped up in lust. Let me tell you something. When we was dating, if she would bend over and, and like, I felt like too much was trying to be like, woman of God, and she, woman of God, pull it up. She pull it up. You know, stuff like that. I mean, when the guy, when, one time we was in the car and she was in the passenger seat. And when I looked over, I saw too much leg. Well, I consider it be too much leg. I'm like, woman of God, cover that. Yeah. So all men, all men don't cheat. All men do not cheat. A man that is full of lust, he cheats because he has an appetite and he has to feed that thing on the inside of him. Those are the men that cheat. And I'm not condoning cheating at all. Let me tell y'all something. I used to, before I, before I was even saved, I used to rebuke people like, I can't say who I'm talking about because then I'll be giving that away, but I used to rebuke people that had good wives. This before I was saved. Like, all your wife do is work church and home. Why are you out there being a dog? 
I used to talk like this when I wasn't saved. Like, why are you out there being a dog? They weren't trying to hear me. I would ruin people high in the street. Why did we get high? I'd be talking to, man, you got a good wife. Why are you out here doing that? I would ruin their high. People ain't like me. They ain't like me when they were trying to get high. Because I'd tell them, man, you got a good wife. You got a good wife. And that's for any brother out there. If you got a good woman, stick with the woman you got. Grass is not greener on the other side. Come on. Let me tell you, sometimes the fantasy in your head will be better than the actual reality. The actual reality is what you got at home, you need to stick with. That's the actual reality. And let me tell you something. One time, <laughs> it was, yeah, this, yeah, since we've been married. Because uh, me and my wife, we got access to everything. She got access to my Instagram. She got access. There's a code on my phone. Because I don't want, if I ever lose my phone, I don't, and I talked about this before, if I ever lose my phone, I don't want somebody to be able to go in my phone and just have my phone and ha have their way with it. So there is a code on my phone, but she knows the code. She got access to my phone. When I leave the house, I, I don't try to close my Facebook. She got access to that. I leave it open. But if if I don't leave it open, she got the password anywhere. Our uh, Instagrams are linked. Uh, she got access to everything. Go in my computer. Look in there. I don't have nothing to hide. But anyway, one day I seen on her Facebook where God sent her a message. And he was trying to holler at my wife. And no, I ain't the jealous type. I ain't like the rowdy, rowdy. Hey, what, you, what you think you doing? But I'm going to tell you what I did tell him, though. I went to his page before I sent him a message. I went to his page and researched him. I looked and everything. You know, I see on there, the guy's engaged. He's engaged. So, and I didn't learn the, the, the fiance name. So I went on his page and I told him, let's just say her name, Rachel. I went on his, I went on in the inbox and I told him, um, and I messaged him back through her messenger. And I told him, the next time you send my wife a message, I'm going to send the message to Rachel. I told him that. I told him that. Never heard nothing else. Never heard nothing else. And I, and I was dead serious. I was not bluffing. I gave him a chance. Really, she need to know who she dealing with. She need to know what type of man she got. But hey, I'll leave that alone. But uh. <sighs> But all men, all men do not cheat. And sometimes, like, I, I believe the women that believe that, one, either you've been scarred by an old relationship, or two, you know what kind of man you have. And I think sometimes you know what kind of man you have. Come on, you know you got a dog. You know you got a dog. I don't mean all men are dogs. You know you got a dog. Because he bark it. Look how he came at you. Look how he came at you. Come on. And there's just certain places, too, where you meet people. You, you <laughs> Lord have mercy. There's just certain places you meet people, too. You like, you know, you ain't going to get no husband, wife material out of that place. Come on now. Because let me tell you something. When I was in the world, I wasn't going to no hole in the wall thinking, yeah, I'm looking for wifey here. No, no. Come on. Can I be honest with you? When I was going to hole in the walls and I was going to clubs, I was thinking, eh, something for one night. I'm being honest with you. I was thinking something for one night. I'm being honest with you. I wasn't thinking wife. I wasn't thinking this going to be a long-term relationship. I was thinking something to have fun and move on. But back to the subject, back to the title, all men cheat. All men do not cheat. If a man cheats, it's, it, it has nothing to do with something that's on the inside of all men. That man is full of lust. That's why he's cheating. He's not what he's getting at home. He's not satisfied with. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Like, I don't see how in the world a man can cheat on you and convince you he love you. Because love is not going to hurt you. Love is not going to crush you. Love is not going to destroy you. Get, out, get that out your mind, love hurts. 
Who told you this? Who told you this? Love does not hurt. Love is beautiful. Love is kind. Come on. But anyway, I don't, I don't, I don't see how somebody could hurt you and, and convince you they love you. You know, he cheated. I forgive him. He loves me. Okay, then he cheat again. Time go by, he cheat again. Time go by, he cheat again. Same way, uh, I don't see how a man can convince you he loves you if he if he, if he's beating on you. Now I can see how you love him because, and most people probably look at this, and I'm all off topic, but most people probably look at a woman like he beat on her. She crazy. She crazy for taking him back. Because, and I, and I can understand that in a way, and I'm not saying she should take him back, but just because you do me wrong, love don't stop. Come on. We got to have more sympathy on people. Just because a man cheated on a woman don't mean her love stops. Come on. Because love calls you to see the best in the person. Love will cause you to make, the, make love will cause you to, to want to see the best in them and see that they're able to change. No, he can change. No, he ain't never get a job. He lived off me, but I see potential in him. Love will cause you to see things that's not there. Come on. That could be there. You'll see the potential in the person. But some people you should walk away from. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. Uh, all men do not cheat. If he's cheating, he's full of lust. And really, you need to, if, especially y'all not married, you need to go ahead and cut ties. Cut ties. Because if he's cheating now, y'all get married. What you think he gonna be doing then? He, no, he not gonna stop once he get married. Things not, marriage is not gonna make anything better. And also, marriage is not a cure for lust. It's not a cure for lust. Deliverance is a cure for us. All right, that's my time. I am leaving. I just wanted to have that chat with y'all. Love y'all. <laughs> Jesus.